Channels Next Generation Logic Modeling is a brand new faces modeling tool for RMS 11. It has improved usability, can handle a lot of data, results in geologically sound results, and has a new and faster algorithm. Let's look at how it works. You can find the channels and GOM faces modeling job in the task pane together with the other faces tools. We made a brand new user interface focusing on the geologist rather than the algorithms to make it a lot easier for you to use. We split the UI into three main parts. On the left, we got the model framework. This is where you select the subset of data you want to work on and apply general settings. On the right, we got the model settings, which is where you specify the geometric settings for the faces, zones, and regions you have selected in the model framework. Sometimes it's hard to understand what a setting does. The previewers, here in the middle, is a great way to give you a sense of what happens when a setting is changed. Let's look at an example using NGOM. We start by giving the name of the output, select this plot wells, and log CUs. Here we got the option to add more faces or open the QC panel. Now we can choose the zones and regions we would like to model. It is possible to toggle on and off which zones and regions you would want to model. They can be used separately or merged together. The variations within the zones and regions can be modeled as channels or constant. In the faces section, we can tie in different faces with a code from our previously selected discrete log. You don't have to repeat the same settings for different zones and regions over and over again. Our improved copy-paste panel allows you to reuse the settings across multiple zones and regions. The top of the model settings will always indicate which zone or region you're working on. There are several ways of defining the volume fractions, and a number of trends can be used as input. For channels, we use a VPC trend as volume fraction input. Notice the preview of the trend when it has been chosen. We get the levy volume fraction from geometry, which means that the volume fractions are calculated from the job settings. The crevasse volume fractions are simply set to a constant of 8%. The channel's geometry can be set freely and the previewers are updated at once according to the changes that are done. In addition to the mean values and standard deviation, it is also possible to set a minimum and maximum truncations. Notice that we can add a deviation from the azimuth if this is needed. The cross-sectional shapes for all faces can be edited, and there are also some predefined shapes to choose from. The crevasse thickness is changed to match the observations from the block wells, and we set the distribution of the crevasses to the top of the channels. The Geometry Correlations tab provides the opportunity to set the correlations between the faces and their inputs. We will also have an indication if the correlation is valid or not. Okay, the job is ready and we can run. From the results, we can see that we have modeled channels, levees, and crevasses. They follow the set shape and we can see the influence of the azimuth deviation.